the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear can i fear a uh, coronavirus no no refuse refuse to fear the lord has given us the spirit of maybe let's start it negative the lord did not give us the spirit of fear but he gave us the spirit of power love and sound mind hallelujah now we can't be quoting those verses only when things are fine this is the time to say god i'm standing on your word you have to show up here i told people that you did not give me the spirit of fear and and i refuse to fear hallelujah amen, amen. you you can't be saying hey, i'm not fearful i'm not fearful but but you can't go to church it means you are fearful go back to church go pray fellowship have 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 that time with all the brethren and 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 because the word of god says don't do what don't stop don't stop coming together don't stop fellowshipping it's a must we can't stop hallelujah are we are we together amen that's why i always say if this virus stays here for a long time, what are we going to do? We, we must just learn to live with it. If it stays, if it hangs around for a long time, we will live with it and it won't affect us. It won't affect our children. The Lord says, you will see thousand falling on your side and 10,000 on your right and nothing will come near your dwelling place. Now, if nothing comes near my dwelling place, it means everybody that stays with me is also safe. Everybody, safe, saved or not saved. They are all safe because my God says nothing will come next to my dwelling place. Hallelujah. Now, declare these scriptures. I always say, don't stop dec decreeing and declaring the word of God. You don't declare because things are fine. You declare because you want things to be fine. Are, are we moving together? You declare the word so that things should be fine. Because God has given you power in your mouth. You speak negative, you speak death, you die. You speak life, you live. Hallelujah. There are many people that call us saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm negative, I'm positive, I'm what, what. I tell them, stand on the word of God. Treat this thing like any other flu. And, and, and don't fear. Just boost your immune system. It's fine. God will see you through. And eat the Holy Communion every day. On Friday, I said, we eat this caffeine Holy Communion. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Take it to work, especially those that are frontline. What do we call them? Frontline workers. You know that you are touching these people. You are taking care of these people that are positive. Others are very sick. Others are in the ICU. When I got lunch, you take your Holy Communion. In the morning, you take your Holy Communion. In the evening, when you arrive home, you take the Holy Communion. You will see what God will do for you. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus said, those that eat my flesh, they will have life. And it won't just be life, it will be life in its fullness, life in abundance. Now when you take the Holy Communion, you say, Father, I thank you for life. Hallelujah. I thank you for life. I thank you that I will not die, I will live and decree and declare the purposes of God. You drink that blood, you say, this is the blood of the covenant. Father, I partake on all the covenants that you have with us, with our forefathers. I'm part of those covenants. You made covenants with Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. I'm part of that covenant. And I'm taking this blood. It will revitalize my body. It will revitalize my spirit and my soul. Are we together? Now, now, don't fear anything. Let's read again. Let's read that verse. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh. Is, is, is sickness trying to eat your flesh? Yes. It wants to finish. Have, have you ever seen people... Baba Tsurungi cancer. Or, or some years ago, there was this other sickness. 
ne utswan thomo khutu ke gangrin gangrin you know gangrin people's legs will start the rotting and then and then those that have uh, uh, diabetes they will start rotting and they'll chop their their limbs because those limbs are rotting hallelujah but listen even if let's read that verse again even if the enemy wants to eat up my flesh my enemies and my foes they stumbled and they fell hallelujah they will not be successful now refuse refuse to think like other people think like the child of god think like a king revelations 1 uh, from verse number five it says we are washed with the blood of jesus and we are made to be kings and to be priests you are a king think like a king a king does not fear anything he walks anywhere he commands anything and whatever he says comes to pass you are a king look at yourself say i'm a king hallelujah and 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 romans chapter 16 says and the god of peace shall throw satan under your feet the devil belongs under your feet hmm. when you walk you must walk proud uh, today i want to show you you are under my feet you must just change the way you walk and walk like this and say i want you to feel my presence <laughs> hallelujah make sure that you, you you are anchored on the word of god live by the word of god and you will see what god will do let's read let's read verse number three though an army may encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war may rise against me in this i will be confident you are confident not because you have all the all, all the abilities and powers against the the war you you your confidence is in god you know that there is nothing impossible with god hallelujah nothing nothing is impossible with god god can change the unchangeable he can move things that man cannot move change things that man cannot change just like this coronavirus can go and it is my prayer that God will expose those demons that are causing this thing. Those people that are behind this thing. Why when other doctors say, I'm using this medication and my, my patients are getting healed. They say, you shut up. Don't use that thing. We'll take your license. What kind, what kind of health people do that? Everybody wants to see people getting healed. But others enjoy to rake billions to get money every day in the expense of people's lives. Other doctors say, hey man, this thing is working. I've already given it. They say, stop that thing. It must not be like that. I pray that God will expose them quicker. Hallelujah. Amen. We are now in verse number for our confidence is in god it's not in our abilities we are confident because our god is able he's the owner of the universe he's the creator of everything nothing that was created was created except through him everything was created by god hallelujah therefore he's in charge the bible says the heavens are his throne and the earth is his footstool his hand is not short to save his eyes are even able to see under the sea ah how can we compare him to anything that's why i don't like it when my pedi say mudimu palavalo you can't even compare god to a witch mudimu palavalo no no they are incomparable <laughs> Hallelujah. I get to into you. Maybe it's because they know how witches in Limpopo do. <laughs> right, let's go verse number four. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life 
to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. We must desire what? It says, I desire what? Come on, talk to me. I desire what? To dwell in the house of the Lord. Desire. So that I can go back to church. That's where healing is. That's where protection is. That's where we meet with our God. Let's read it. You will see another thing that I want you to see there. It says, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek. I will seek that thing no matter what. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To do what? To do what? To do what? To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. There is a different, a different manifestation of God when I'm praying alone. It's different than when we are together like this. When we are together, it's corporate. Faith, you put your faith, you put your faith, we put our faith together, it becomes a mountain and a massive faith. Hallelujah. Now, together, we can conquer many mountains very easy. That's why we must come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes you were doing stuff during the week. You were discouraged. You face, you face many challenges. When you come to church together, when we sing together, when we worship together, when we pray together, we become revived, you become encouraged. That's why I will seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, shout amen. Hallelujah. We have to seek to be in the house of the Lord. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God is safer than he who, he who dwells in any other house. He says, he says, I will cover you with my feathers. I will cover you with my wings. You, as long as you make me my refuge, you, you, you make me your refuge, and your fortress, I will protect you. I will give you long life. Thousand will fall on your left, ten thousand on your right, nothing will come near your dwelling place. I will command angels to take care of you. Your feet will not even dash the rock. It means it means angels are carrying you like this. You are safe in the hands of God. He says, you are in the palm of God and no one can snatch you out from the palm of God. You are God's apple of his eye. Ah, I wish somebody was listening. Now we are safe in God. We are safe in God. Hallelujah. Now the best place to be is to be in church, even better than to be at work. Because when we are together, you come with your fire, your fire, your fire, your fire. When we combine our fire, it's a big, big, big furnace of fire. And no demon will withstand that fire. Hallelujah. In the church, we don't exchange viruses in the church. We heal viruses. We command them to die and to go. Amen. Hallelujah. We are just putting this mass to make our president happy. And last week, he sent, they sent police. Police were here to check us if, if we are doing the things they said we must do. But we are fine. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we are fine. Hallelujah. Fear not. The Lord is my shepherd. If God is your shepherd, why, why must we fear? Wow. Let's go. Verse number five. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. I want you, I want you to take your gadget and look at that. And find that word that says pavilion and see what it means. Ah, my God. I, 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 I imagine it like a cocoon or a tent or, or, or a shell. Come on, tell me, what does your gadget say? Pavilion. Talk to me. You can't talk because of the mask. Just talk. What is it saying? I want you to be part of my teaching today. Pavilion say the meaning building used for, use for shelter. shelter. If you go to 
the Cape, Eastern Cape, Western Cape, Cape Town. You will see those buildings. Ne? When, when, when the, the, the Hollanders and the, and the English came here, the buildings they built, they, were, they knew that they are doing wrong things. That's why they even called them fort. They knew that they were doing wrong things. They were taking our land. Now they were building buildings that will protect them. They call them fort. Uh. <laughs> now, now this pavilion is a it's a protection. God says, let's read it again, verse number five. Let's read it again. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in what? In a pavilion, in, in a place of safety, in a shell, in a cocoon, in a tent, in a canopy. I'm safe. Hallelujah. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set, my, he shall set me high upon a rock. There's a secret place in God. I spoke a lot about it from Psalm 91. He says he will hide me in his secret place, the secret place of his tabernacle. Now, now you must know that whatever you do, wherever you go, God is with you. You are in his secret place. Don't move out of that place if you want to be safe. If you hear me say amen. Look at number six. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. At the end of the day, I'm the one who will be standing up the enemy will be down hallelujah if 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 god can show you a movie of what happened last night when you were sleeping you will be shocked you will be shocked there are many things that are forming and ganging against you they want to finish you but god says no and if god says no nobody can say yes if god says yes nobody can say no Hallelujah. If God can just open your eyes and you see what happens at night when you are sleeping, you will be shocked. Others are flying over your house. Others are trying. They, they, they are trying many things. Because Satan is against you. He does not like you. But God says, I will protect you in the pavilion, in the secret place of my tabernacle. You are safe in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Look at your name and say, Neighbor, you are safe. <laughs> you are safe in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But I don't say we must be careless again. I don't say we must be foolish and stupid. You do the, 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 your best and you let God do the rest. You walk with power you walk in authority you know that i'm not alone verse number seven. Oh, let's let's read verse six at the end i will sing yes i will sing praises to the lord which place is better to sing praises to the lord church or when you are alone when i'm alone I sing, it's fine. But when I'm in church, we sing corporately. You come with your voice, you come with your voice, you come with your voice, and together in unison, we praise God, and it becomes something powerful. Hallelujah. I sing alone, and, and one thing I like by singing alone, I can't be out of tune. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, 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 that's why we must come to church. We sing together, we give praises together. I, I, together it goes to the nostrils of God as, a, as an aroma a sweet aroma it's, it's a nice melody that goes to God and then if I'm alone in my house it's, it's, God accepts it but it's not like when we are together I wish you, somebody was listening look at verse number 7 it says hear O Lord when I cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. 
Now, this person is like he's saying, I take instructions from you. You say, seek my face. It's like, it's like, it's like God is saying, jump, and, in, and then he's saying, how high? Seek my face. Then I said, oh, yes, I will seek your face, Lord. Hallelujah. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O oh God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will do what? And the Lord will do what? Will take care of me. There are times when people forsake you. There are times when friends leave you. Ah, there's another program. It used to be there on TV. Earring that program. million. Next thing overnight, they are gone. What is that program? I blew it. I blew it. Last yesterday, they had many friends because money was there. Today, they are alone. Even the girlfriends are gone. The boyfriends are gone. <laughs> Family members are gone. But when everybody leaves you, God will not leave you. He says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you all the time. And my hand is not short to save you. He, God, God is always on our side. <laughs> oh my God. God is always on our side. My God. Hallelujah. Now, now, when, when, when your family, there are times even when your family members leave you. There are times when your husband leaves you. When there are times when your wife leaves you. And, and even your children leave you. You are alone. But God says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Because you are an apple of my, of my eye. Now, look at verse 10. It says, when my father and my mother forsake me. Oh, that's a painful one, eh? When your parents say, hey, you are no longer our kid. Or, or, or they don't even tell you you are no longer our kid. They just keep quiet. But, but you can feel you can feel that power, that push, that you are not wanted. It becomes painful. Hallelujah. I've seen people struggling with the issue that when I was small, my father walked away from us. They don't know where that man is. Oh, they see that here we are, we are with our mother, we are only two. We are struggling. But our father left us really two. With different fathers. Those kids are going to school, those kids are going to universities, those kids who have a connect have a credit business. But we are struggling here. We are his biological kids. And they feel that pain. But hear what God says. He says, I will not forsake you. Even if everybody leaves you. Mm, we are safe in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, we are safe in the hands of God. Now, verse number 11 says, Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Now, this person recognizes that there are enemies. Do we have enemies? Yes. Yes, we have enemies. Others are invisible. Others, they just decide to hate you for nothing. As an evangelist, I cast many demons from people. You will hear a demon say, Yeah, we tear up bitter. I want to kill her. We tear up bitter. What was Peter? Go rustin back, hurry, rawa papa, rawa spita. My demon, I go rustin back, hurry, rawa was Peter. I'm a pito, rawa papa. For nothing. You did nothing. It's just that you went to school, you passed. You behaved at home, you are now working, you, you are fine. Now these demons hate you for that. Now you have enemies visible and invisible. Never nyemisa. What is to nyemisa ka English? Don't 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 pull down your guards. Always be on guard. Put on the whole armor of God. Know that this is warfare. Hallelujah. Others are praying that, ah, God, we want, we want to see who they are not going to be affected in that church. And we won't. 
We won't be infected. We won't. I refuse. I refuse. Nobody here will catch a virus from this church. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. The angels are surrounding this place. No virus will come here. Hallelujah. Mm, I feel like preaching now. <laughs> no virus will come here. No virus. No virus will come here. We are safe in the hands of God. And we are standing in on, on, on the word of the living God. Even if you catch it outside, when you come here, you will be healed. You will be delivered. You will be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is able. Jesus has already paid the price. He hanged at the cross as he was beaten. Every sickness was included. Coronavirus was included. Diabetes was included. Cancer was included. TB was included. HIV AIDS was included. Every disease, every sickness, every virus, every germ was included. Hallelujah. And that blood will never lose its power. It is the blood that will remain powerful forever. Oh, the blood of Jesus will never lose its power. My God, my God, my God. That's why we will fear no evil. For the Lord is our shepherd. The Lord walks with us. He takes care of us. He even prepares a table for us in front of our enemies. That's the kind of God we serve. We will fear no evil. And God likes to show off when it's hot. This is the right time for God to show off his power. Because if there are no problems, his power won't be seen. Show. Let's go. Verse number 12. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries for false witnesses have risen against me when the coronavirus started everybody on tv was saying yeah there was a conference in bloomfontein and everybody the most of them they caught the virus mm -hmm. did they prove that scientifically <laughs> They can't say that without proving that. No, in the church, that's where there is protection, that's where there's healing, that's where there's deliverance. And we will always make sure that we are delivered, we are free, we are healed. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. For false witnesses have risen against me. There are false witnesses. In fact, if you can ask the people that call themselves the specialists of health and ask them, when last did you put a stethoscope on a person, on a patient? When last did you do that? They are working in their offices. They are not there out there healing people. But they are what? But they call themselves what? Specialists. They tell us, don't use this drug. If you are a doctor, they say, you will take your license. It must not happen that way. You. Verse number. Oh, we are still on 12. Ne? And such as breath out violence. You, you know these this false witnesses, they, they breathe violence. Kiri. They, they want to see me finish again. And God says, I will, not for, I will not forsake you. I'm with you. Let them breathe until they breathe themselves to death. They will not touch you. Hallelujah. Because you are an apple of my, my eye. Verse number 13. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My God when you wake up in the morning you say Lord I thank you that I will see your goodness in the land of the living <laughs> don't wait to go to heaven to see the goodness of God that's why you must never sing those songs that says we are going to heaven we are going nowhere 
we'll go to heaven at the right time, not now. We used to sing them going to heaven. We are going to miss the goodness of God in the land of the living because we are, we are all fly away. Oh, glory. Ah. You have wings. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say, we are going nowhere. We are going to enjoy the goodness of the Lord here in the land of the living. Hallelujah. That's why when you have your business, it must prosper. When you are working, you must prosper. When you wake up in the morning, you must prosper. Whatever thing you are doing, you must prosper. Why? Because God has anointed your right hand to accumulate wealth. We must be wealthy without corruption. Mm. Ah. Those people. The university realized Romara. Kids in this area, they are catching this thing. What is the problem? They took the sanitizer to the lab. Mahanaka. The sanitizer. Nailing percentage of alcohol. Likar four. That person must just go to jail and they must hang him. Because he kills many people. Sure. <laughs> Yo, ANC. Sure. I think this thing here tender must stop now. Mm -mm. Mm, it must stop. The, the intention was right. It was to lift everybody up, black people, so that by the, way, the same level with whites. But only few rich people are getting richer and richer and richer every day. How do you apply for a tender Uliko office senior president and a not right level? Ah, uh, I nearly said Panzinge ANC. I'm not saying it <laughs> because I'm in church. <laughs> it, it, this thing must stop. Corruption must stop. Corruption must stop. Corruption must stop. We must pray that God will continue to expose these corrupt people and take them to jail. It looks like it looks like our president's teeth are not sharp. He's always saying, hey, fool, I'm a And then everybody knows this thing is corruption, but what is he doing? We must pray for him. The problem is that the same people that are surrounding him are a problem. And if they like, they can recall him. That's the system here, yeah, ANC. When they realize, well, this man is after us, they will say, ah, recalled. And they, they'll put the worst person to, to, to collapse the economy. Even now, even now they are borrowing so many, many billions. Will the billions go where they are supposed to go? We are asking, will the billions go where they are supposed to go? Ah, uh, Mr. President, you have to do something. <laughs> if, if I was him, the minute I announced lockdown, I was also going to announce a special court and a special force to deal with corruption because I know my people. And a court of air must work 24 hours. They get you, they, 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 they must make sure that you are judged same day, jail. And but we say good jailers nang the mask lady 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 lady, lady social distancing <laughs> so that so that you feel it <laughs> that's what I was going to do. They are like I'm not the president. Well, number verse number verse number we are on 14 now, ne? Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. 
and he shall come and read with me he shall strengthen your heart wait i say on the lord is that the question no it's an instruction wait <laughs> wait away on the lord be of good courage you know what is courage courage means civility stand up even if you see that the war is raging i'm going to face it hallelujah hallelujah be like a mother who who who's left with many kids and the husband is gone and you stand up and say my kids are not going to bed without food you stand up what's amawazabalaza hallelujah and you make sure that your kids go to school you make sure that your kids go to the varsities and 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 then that has been like the thing is that you must have a good mentality of waiting upon the lord and being courageous it says be of good courage is there a bad courage i think so you tell people that i'm courageous i'm courageous but when it, when it's time to fight where are you we can't find you anywhere <laughs> that's bad courage good courage means i'll be at the front line i will make sure that the, the purposes of god are preached i will make sure that i'm doing what god wants me to do and the the, the ability the power the strength of god will manifest hallelujah ah uh, that's my introduction let's all stand i think I'll, I'll preach the other part of the message next week <laughs> I, I was just greeting you with these verses ne? I, I wanted us to go and, and continue uh, talk about the blood of jesus now now i want us to pray that god will give us more strength ne? we pray that god will give us what more strength let us not give up let us make sure that that runa we wait upon who we wait upon the lord hallelujah and then let's pray let's pray for our church members let's pray for our community let's pray for those that are doing frontline work and 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 god will protect them amen especially those that are in this church because we believe in god they will be safe this is our dwelling place now nothing will come next to our dwelling place my home where i stay it's my dwelling place nothing will come next to my dwelling place hallelujah let's just take few minutes and begin to pray for ourselves if if you feel you were discouraged ask god for that courage again wait upon the lord ask god for wisdom and understanding and let's pray for those that uh, businesses someone and selling affected that god will 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 bring recovery those that are sick recovery will come hallelujah let's begin to pray Zeke.